Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching one of a kind special series called Zero to Hero series on ESP32 and ESP32 CAM. Both the modules we are going to cover in this particular Zero to Hero series for IoT, robotics and artificial intelligence using MicroPython. All right, guys. So we have come a long way. Now in this lesson, what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how to install ESP tool, which is basically a helper program, which is a helper package to flash MicroPython firmware into your ESP32 development board. It is a firmware, right? It's a helper tool. Without this tool, you cannot load your MicroPython firmware into your ESP32. It's pretty tricky, right? To work with ESP tool, which is called esptool.py, you will need Python 3.4 or above, which we installed in the previous lesson. I hope you are ready with Python installed on your laptop. All right. And with the Python 3 uh, basically install, you need to, you know, we can just open up a terminal window on your uh, on our laptop and start executing few commands. So I am going to show you what those commands are. So let me open up my Windows uh, command prompt or win and we will take it forward from there. All right. So let's go to this is the pin drawing so let me go to my desktop sharing i will just share it with you give me a minute let's go to let's go to one second guys just give me a minute All right, I hope you guys can see my desktop. I think it's pretty blurry. Let me just clear the screen a little bit. Sometimes recording the videos in a blurry image, you know, it just irritates. It doesn't look good for my viewers as well. Let me just, I hope this is clear. All right, now let's let's do one thing. Let's, let's open up our uh, terminal on windows so how you need to do you need to type cmd okay and this will open up a black window like this or you can also go to win w i n this will open up a windows powershell you can do via this route as well i i would prefer to go use the cmd so let me type cmd this is basically the command prompt so what you need to do once you open this you need to say pip pip install 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 esp tool esp tool like this pip install esp tool hit enter button on your keyboard hit enter i have already installed so i think it may take few seconds to rerun it again that's kind of weird. It's not detecting. It should happen. There you go. It's see requirement already satisfied because I had already installed it, right? However, with some Python installation, this particular command may not work and you may receive an error. If that is the case, if you receive any kind of error, you need to say pip3, pip3 install ESP tool so you need to use python install package that is your pip3 basically pip3 install esp tool instead of pip install esp tool which is the previous command which worked for me in case if you see error use this command pip3 install esp tool right or still if it doesn't work what you need to do i will show you another command you need to say pip python you need to say python space minus m space pip space install space esp tool 
I am going to leave this command, all the three command, uh, at the bottom of uh, bottom of this video in the in the comment section, so you can take a look at it, guys. You can execute any of this command. If the first one doesn't work, try the second one. If second doesn't work, try the third one. It's definitely going to work. All right. Now, since I have already installed, so let me show you how to verify this. After installing, basically, you will have the ESP dot pi it's a, it's a, it's a program it's a helper program esp tool dot pi uh, install into the default python executable directory and you should be able to run it with the command called esp tool dot pi so let's let's run this tool esp tool dot py let's cross our finger hit enter there you go i think it's running perfect now let's say i hope there are no errors in between perfect guys so i can see the esp tool uh, version 3.1 for esp 8266 rom bootloader utility fantastic so this is working so can you see the number of chips which is supported here that's that's your esp 32 esp 32 s2 and beta 2 and beta 3 esp 32 c3 there are ton loads of other chips so that's where we will be you know we, we will be playing around so there are ton loads of things you can read so basically the tool is working guys so esp uh, tool the, the esp tool dot py is perfectly working and it's installed successfully so go ahead and install guys in case if you face any problem do reach me out i will be happy to help you I will guide you systematically. This is a little tricky, right? For for those of you who are doing it for the first time, who has who have never done use any command prompt tools and kind of thing, you may encounter, you may get confused. But do not worry. You know, reach out to me, message me. I will help you out. But if you systematically follow exactly what I did right now, open the command prompt, type all those three. Uh, command lines not all the three one by one the first one doesn't work if you see any error at the bottom ignore it go to the second command which i'm going to post it in this particular video or the third one either of these three should work it's going to install once it accepts the installation you are going to see some bars running right so it's going to take about probably about three to five minutes to install the entire thing it will show at the bottom successfully install go ahead and install keep things ready i am going to be back soon in the next video and we will take it forward from there goodbye until then see you